What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, welcome back. It is pretty. It's four fifty one p.m. Actually, recording this. Uh, best AFL player of all time. Now, you guys have known we have done a lot of all times just in the AFL. The all time goals, all time finals, like all time players. Chris Judd, Ben Cousins. You know what I mean? Um, Goods, McLeod, Maresi, all of that. My boy Bernie Quinlan. But also, if I'm like Chess. I really done all time for each team. We we, we had done all time player just in general, which we may actually see on his list, Lee Matthews. But in terms of all time players for each team, do we really know the goats? So as always, shout out to Make It Rain Productions, and uh, you guys let me know who is y'all all time go for y'all team. Anyway, let's go and get started. Don't forget to like the video and sub as well as always, boys and girls. Also, quick word: I was going to go. I was going to go live this weekend. I found out I was like, I couldn't stream for like a week. And I, and I just found out yesterday. I, I had like a post about that. But anyway, it's my apologies again. This weekend, we are back through. This weekend, we're back. We're back this weekend to the end of the season. Uh, Geelong, Brisbane. Geelong lost this week. I mean, Brisbane lost this weekend. Geelong are starting to get, you know, they won this weekend. They are starting to cook. Need to win. We will be live for that game. If not, it comes up, but we should be live for that game. Anyway, let's get it. The AFL is a storied league with many No, I didn't cry. I watched the last two minutes, though. I watched the last two minutes video. I seen some crazy stuff. I seen some crazy stuff. I did so well. I thought I would give a recap on each of the 18 teams' best all time player and list some of their career accomplishments with the club. Hope you guys enjoy and remember to leave a like on the video and if you want to, subscribe. As only about 2% of you guys are actually subbed to the channel. So I'd appreciate it if you took the time to press that button down below. But without further ado, let's get into it. The Crows' best all-time player is Andrew McLeod. Andrew McLeod. McLeod, the leading games record holder for the club, was a dangerous halfback and two-time Premiership player over his 15-year stint. That's the key. He also received two Norm Smith medals with Adelaide, along with five All-Australian nods and three club best and fairest. Okay, he's racking up awards. awards cabinet. Over his career, McLeod averaged 20 disposals, mm. 0 0.8 goals, three mm. marks, and two tackles per game. Showcasing his talent and fake. Really capabilities. Why well, you felt that fake that bad time. though? An honorable mention for this position goes to the 2003 Brownlow medalist Mark Rusciuto. Mm. Michael Voss is the best player ever from Brisbane. A three-time wow. Premiership player, Voss captained the side. Shout Michael best Voss. In club from the 2001 to 2003. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, the, the hit's not funny. That's, that's a pretty bad hit. But look at the uh, look at the I guess the security guys and like who was sitting down. In club history, from the, the commentating team. Season. Some like one guy's just sitting there, but the other guy's getting up. Man. Like yo. Five all Australian nods and three club best and fairest. <clears throat> Over his career, Voss amassed averages of 21 disposals, 0.8 goals, four marks, and two tackles per game. An honourable mention here goes to Simon Black, who was another outstanding player for the club. Simon Black was Blue's it. best all-time player is John Nichols. As John Nichols. VFL Premier. Is this the Nichols? Club best and fairest winner. John it's Nichols. hard not to put Nichols as Carlton's all-time best player. As the Blues captain from 1968 to 1974, Nichols was included in the AFL team of the century. Mm. Over his career, Nichols averaged 13 disposals, mm. 3 marks and a goal mm. per game. Mm. In his seasons played where stats were recorded. Outstanding. Imagine just about half of his career with the team. Shout out to club champion Stephen Silvani, who is another honourable mention here. Nathan Buckley is the best player ever from the Magpies. Nathan Buckley. A significant figure at the club through both his playing and coaching career, there was not a player who rivaled to take this title from Buckley. Some of his achievements at the club included Brownlow Medal, a Norm Smith, six best and fairest, and seven All Australian Norms. Holy crap. Buckley averaged an astonishing 25 Stacking up awards. Five marks, one goal, and two tackles per game over his career. An honourable mention for this spot goes to Scott Pendlebury, who has been an integral figure at the club for over a decade. Scott Pendlebury. The Bombers' best all time player is John Coleman. John a Coleman. historic figure who set countless records in a somewhat short career, Coleman's legacy lives on through the Coleman Medal, an achievement which is awarded to the top goal scorer in the AFL every season. Hey, if you if you have a award base after you, you're up there as one of the best players of all time. Your team, yeah. Yeah. For your respective team club. But in his career, Coleman that's, averaged that's 5 5 goals per game. That's goldish. A feat which has not been broken to this day. Even by the time AFL leading goal scorer dog. Tony Lockett. Some of Coleman's career I'll stay in though. two VFL premierships, one All Australian nod, and one club best and fairest. An honourable mention here goes to James Hurd, as it was very difficult to vote against his illustrious. Oh, James Hurd is a good one. 
Nat Fife is the best player ever from James Hurd is a good one. The two-time Brownlow medalist has helped the club to some of its best seasons in its somewhat brief history, leading the team to a grand final appearance in 2013. Mm. Along with two Brownlows, Fife has also received three All-Australian nods and three club best and fairests. Over his career so far, Fife has averaged 25 disposals, four marks, four tackles. My guy has an arm sleeve going, going Shout crazy. Shout out to as he was another key player in the club's going history. Going crazy with the arm sleeve. considered for this position for the Dockers. The Cats' best all-time player is Gary, Gary Ablett Sr. Renowned for his second-to-none goal-kicking and marking ability, Ablett Sr. received many accolades over his career, including a Norm Smith and three Coleman medals. Nicknamed God, Gary also received <laughs> three Australian odds and God. was a club-leading goal-kicker for eight years that he was with the team. You, In his career, you are Gary him. Sr. also averaged him. 15 disposals, 6 marks, you and 3 goals per game. That's Other crazy. considerations for the Cats included Joel Selwood and Gary Ablett Jr. And carrying on the family tradition, Gary Ablett Jr. is- And can we just respect the Ablett family? Yeah, the dad and the son who are both considered to be the greatest players of all time. And what other sport is the dad and the son both considered the greatest of the all time? The best player ever to lace up for the Gold Coast you, Suns. That's crazy. Wally Regatta is one of the greatest that's players of crazy. all time. While being a better player than his dad, in my humble opinion, Gaz carried the Suns for many years despite lacking help. Gary M. Gold Coast is recent, bro. Brownlow medal, four All-Australian odds, and four club best and fairest over his time at Gold Coast. Over his career, Gaz averaged 25 disposals, three marks, one goal, and four tackles per game. There are no real honorable mentions here, but two Camilla may be in contention in a couple of years' time. The Giants' best all-time player Toby Green. Toby Green. This was a difficult... He was scoring this year, though. I wonder if I'm not a beast, but like top five. Club in the league. Like scoring. I chose Toby scoring. due to his influence on the Giants' team's overall success especially during the past three or four years. Mm. Toby has amassed awards such as two All-Australian odds and one club best and fairest, mm. and has averaged 22 disposals, Damn. five marks, 1.3 goals, and three tackles per That's game over his career at the Giants so far. An honorable mention goes to Callum Ward for being the club's captain from 2012 to 2019 and helping to form the newer team into a respectable organization, unlike some other newer clubs. Anyways, Lee Matthews, Lee Matthews. Is the best player ever from Hawthorne. Oh yeah. Being one of the best players Duh. in the game's history and one of the faces of the league, Lethal Lee was a fitting nickname for Matthews in his Lethal Lee. <laughs> from 1969 to 1985. Some of his career achievements include four VFL premierships, one Coleman medal, one All Australian nod, and eight club best and fairest. Dang. Got that career, tissue in the Lee ground. Average 22 disposals, five marks, and three goals per game. There are not a whole lot of players who compare to Lee at Hawthorne, but Sam Mitchell, Luke Hodge, Robert Dipper, and Sean Burgoyne. That's a lot of names. That's a lot of names. The D's best all-time player is Ron Barassi. Ron Barassi. Another obvious choice here, Barassi winning six premierships and two club best and fairest in his time at Melbourne, winning the most recent premiership in club history until this season. Mm. Some of Barassi's other career accolades include three All-Australian nods and two club leading goals. He's just a winner. He's just a winner. provides some of Ron's career stats, but due to Barassi playing in the 50s and 60s, these stats aren't easily accessible. Dang. We can safely assume his stats are pretty good though. Other honorable mentions here go to both Jim Steins and Gary Lyon for their contributions. Gary to Lyon. Wayne Carey is the best player ever from North Melbourne. The Duck is one of the most storied players in the league's history, winning two premierships with the Kangas in the late 90s. Mm, get Other career me. achievements grown the man. include seven All-Australian It's a grown man. Best and fairest across 13 years for North and two years for Adelaide. Carey averaged 17 disposals, 7 marks, 1 tackle, and 3 goals per game across his career. There are no real honourable mentions for this spot, as I yeah. think Duck is a clear cut <laughs> best player in North. I think North Melbourne is like the only team Before except like Gold Coast that have like a clear cut player. goal. The club's all time leading goal kicker in the AFL and an integral part of the club's only premiership in 2004 as they. Hey, where's my boy Peter Piper Pepper Pepper? Peter. Pepper. Collecting awards such as 4 club best and fairest and 8 club leading goal kicker awards. Over his illustrious career, Tredria amassed numbers Treasury. of 14 disposals, 7 marks, and 2 goals per game. Gavin Wanganine receives an honourable mention, as it was difficult to decide between these two players and their playing careers at Port. Dustin Martin is Dusty. the best player ever from the Richmond Football Club. Dusty. This may be a controversial pick, but due to Dusty's dominance in recent years within the league, along with three premierships... Especially due to those years, they was going crazy, crazy winning and all that. In his career so far, Dusty's that. averaged 25 disposals, four marks, one goal, and three tackles per game. While being one of the most impactful players in the league and arguably one of the best, 2017 to 2020 marks some of the most successful years in the club's long history, with Dusty being one of the main leaders of that team. 
Kevin Bartlett and Jack Dyer both receive honorable Excuse mention me. for the Tigers' best all-time player. The Saints' best all-time player is Tony Lockett. Tony Lockett. The greatest nicknames I've ever heard. One Tony like, Lockett. <laughs> yeah, I started all-time. singing every time you hear that. Topping 1,360 goals over his career, 898 of those being kicked for St Kilda. Lockett also achieved awards including a Brownlow Medal, two Club Best and Ferris, and four Coleman Medals across his career. He also averaged outrageous stats including 10 disposals, 8 marks, and nearly 5 goals per game. There is not much debate for this position, as Lockett was so dominant in this period. Just a club. beast, man. Bob Skilton is the best player ever from the Sydney Swans, or South oh, Melbourne Skilton. Swans. I didn't actually know much about Skilton before I had Skilton. the idea for this video, as he is one of the best forgotten stars in the AFL's history. He amassed awards such as a measly 3 Brownlow medals, the equal most of all time, and 9 club best and fairests. Skilton averaged 26 disposals, nearly 2 goals, and 4 Jeez, marks in his 15 year career where stats were recorded. That being from 1965 to 1971. Mm. Honorable mentions here go to Adam Goods and Lance Franklin. I was thinking Adam Goods. Goods. And Coleman medals, which they achieved. The West Coast Eagles' best all time player is Ben Cousins. That Chris Judd. This was a toss up between Ben Cousins and Chris Judd. But I, I was thinking Chris Judd. Ben Cousins was good, though. And his contribution on the court. To the club. Whereas Judd had unparalleled success at Carlton after his time at the Eagles. Some of Cousins' career accolades include a Brownlow medal, being a premiership player in 2005, and being a six-time club best and fairest. Over his career, Ben averaged 23 disposals, 3 marks, 2 tackles, and 0.8 goals per game. EJ Wynn is the best player ever from the Bulldogs. EJ Wynn? While the most influential AFL players of all time, EJ Wynn was a no-brainer for this choice. EJ. Even excluding off-field influence, recording a solo VFL Premiership in 1954. Other achievements over his career include five club best in Ferris and three All-Australian nods. Career averages for EJ list as follows. 16 disposals, five marks, and one goal per game in six years where his stats were recorded near the end of his career. Mm. Honorable mentions go out to Brad Johnson, Chris Grant, and Bob Murphy for this position at the Bulldogs. Mm. Well, that concludes the best all-time player from every AFL team. Thank you guys for watching as this video took a that was a very, very good list. Awesome list, actually. Uh, yeah, we learned some more history. Uh, you guys let me know what do y'all think is y'all going to feel, team. As always, don't forget to like and sub as well. Stay safe, stay amazing. Talk to you guys later, man. Peace.